What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, man, pretty crazy title. I ain't gonna lie, man. I wanted to see, because y'all already know the first thing that popped up in my head is, was she a sacrifice for DC Young Fly? Or maybe she was a sacrifice in general. I don't know for who. But that's the first thing that popped into my mind. I thought about the surgery and I thought, hmm, this could be a sacrifice. So I don't know, guys. This is called Kanye West Exposes DC Young Fly for sacrificing his baby moms for fame. All right, rest in peace to Jackie O, man. Taking over a fucking surgery, a cosmetic surgery is crazy to me, bruh. You know, ladies out there, you just gotta love yourself, accept yourself as you are. And, you know, if you wanna get work done, that's totally fine. It's your body. You can do whatever the fuck you wanna do with it. You just gotta know that things like this do happen all right there are very real situations that happen over you just you know having an insecurity that you could go to the gym and work on and maybe it won't be no bbl type you know it just depends on your genetics but at the end of the day you got to learn to love yourself you know what i'm saying flaws and all but anyway guys like comment subscribe let's see what exactly what's going on in this video make sure you tell a friend and tell a friend and tell they ain't your mama tell they uncle joe he's still a hoe let's get right into the video man let's see what's going on damn told you bud sacrifice keep telling y'all <laughs> what the fuck this nigga is animated as hell hold on y'all 360p we can't do that all right at least 720 damn, told you, bud. Sacrifice. <laughs> who is this dude man <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though, I fuck with him, man, because it kind of brings light to the situation. Even though it's a tragic death, of course, you know, ain't nothing funny about the death. The way that he's coming across makes it very comedic and, and makes it more lighthearted, you know, I fuck with it. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Kanye West can end this by telling the truth. Uh -oh. And what do you believe that truth is? The doctor had nothing to do with his mom's death. Oh, damn. I ain't never even seen that before. What interview was this? The truth is, the doctor had nothing to do with his mom's death. Sheesh. I ain't gonna lie. You be seeing these celebrities, man. Something happens to their family members or somebody very close to them when they start like hitting their peak and shit. I remember when Kanye's mom died, The Good Life was out, bruh, and that was the song. He was on top, you know, like he was rising to his superstar. Niggas close to them always die. Look at Megan Thee Stallion, look at the baby, you know what I'm saying? It's just like every time these niggas like hit a high peak, they got to lose somebody. It's a sacrifice, so I don't know. We about to see what happens with DC Young Fly. We're going to see if he you know, goes up, if he if his career is elevated. We just gotta see how everything moves, y'all. Deaths in the Hollywood industry have always been plagued with blood sacrifice myths. Mm -hmm. These rumors came back in full swing <clears throat> after the recent death of mm -hmm. DC Young's baby mama. People have baby been speculating mama. if her death was actually a sacrifice she said baby mama. <laughs> for Young to climb the Holly ladder. You see, the cause of death has been reported yeah. to be complications after cosmetic procedures. Right. If we follow memory lane, Kanye was also making quite a fuss at the suspicious demise of Donda West uh -huh. quite a few years ago. Stay with us, folks. Kanye already knew what time it was. Kanye knew he had to make a sacrifice. And that was the biggest sacrifice he could have made. Because we've got all the deets on this latest controversy. Young DC, the YouTuber, <clears throat> has been in the headlines since the recent passing of his... Was DC Young Fly a YouTuber? What? ...controversy. Young DC, the YouTuber, has been... The YouTuber? Wow. They just gonna discredit that man like that and call him a YouTuber? I'm not saying anything is wrong with being a YouTuber. Fuck, I'm a YouTuber. It's cool to be a YouTuber, right? Don't play us. But at the same time, <laughs> DC Young Fly is an actor, a comedian. This woman called him a YouTuber. That's wild to me, bro. <laughs> In the headlines since the That's recent wild. passing of his baby mama. TMZ oh. broke the news baby that former mama. Wild and Out star Jack Yo, who's also DC Young's Fly's longtime partner, has died. The celebrity news channel reported that Jackie was in Miami when she breathed her last breath. Additionally, sources have revealed that she was in Miami to undergo a mommy makeover. Mm. Former star of Wild and Out, Jackie O, has died at just 30. Yeah, former star of Wild and Out. Shout they gonna call him a YouTuber, bro. What? Be two years old. BET Media Group also mourned the loss of the former actress. The official statement read, 
We are deeply saddened by the passing of Jacqueline Smith, known to the world as Jackie, a talented, wild and out family member whose impact will be. Is that a vampire tooth right here, y'all? The fuck? Forever treasured and missed. Jackie O was a loving friend and beloved colleague of the Wild and Outcast throughout five seasons. More importantly, she was a tremendous mother to three beautiful children. Well, the rumors started going around after a suspicious clip surfaced on TikTok. In spite of mourning the- I meant to check this out. Let me know in the comments if y'all checked out the, um, I guess his speech and all of that. I ain't gonna lie. When I seen the post that he posted, like, after his hiatus of not speaking on it at all, I mean, the post was cool. And, like, his, his post lately, like, on his story and stuff, I don't know. It's just about God will want me to move on. Move it on. Move it on. I don't know. That's the energy I get. I don't, like, this is exactly how I feel. This is not sincere energy. When I read the post, okay, cute, whatever the case is, he had been posting a little shit on his Instagram story. It's just, to me, it don't feel like he really give a fuck, to be honest, y'all. Loss of his and I could be wrong, all right? I could be wrong. I just want to say that all of this is just how I feel about the situation, which means it's an opinion. Don't get all crazy and shit, all right? You can feel however you want to feel, but I definitely felt like, eh, I don't know, man. There's something more to this. Beloved, Young is seen preaching to a bunch of kids and other people in a kitchen-like room mm -hmm. where it's quite common for parents to soothe their children with calming words. Mm -hmm. Young is seen repeating the mantra, this is all for our family. For me, it's for us. You get what I'm saying? Yes, we have to expand our horizon, understand that this is for the family. This is ground-rooted. This is for us. Everything from this point on is for us. Anyone who listens closely to the clip may question. Was that after the uh, death? I'm assuming it is. What is for the family? The sacrifice. However, Young did his part very well. He diligently released a statement from his family stating, We thank everyone for their well wishes and ask for privacy mm -hmm. during this difficult time. Mm -hmm. DC's notorious video has led many people to believe in the sacrificial theory. Mm -hmm. People out there have questioned Fly's prolonged silence after the news broke. Mm -hmm. You have to really question it because he had no pictures or mentions of her for weeks and months on his social media mm -hmm. pages. He even posted only his children around Mother's Day. Maybe they weren't together at the time, y'all. I don't really think that that has anything to do with it, to be honest. Maybe it could, but I feel like sometimes people just take this social media shit too serious. You don't know if they was going through a breakup, a break. You don't know, like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he just didn't want to post, but it could very well be that because he was preparing or knew something was happening. I don't know. And did not mention her in any aspect. Then he was updating his YouTube page on the day of her death. The next day and the day following, just as Quavo did when he got takeoff taken out. Mm. Some fans came forward with tidbits of information, claiming she died in the hotel room. Did you know she also died in a hotel? An unnamed person called the ambulance and said someone is not responding. He, she didn't express what happened or who she was. <clears throat> that person is still a mystery. Jackie actually made it through the surgery okay. Mm. She supposedly had complications as she slept through the night, mm. even though nothing has been... It might have been like a medication. It took her ass out, you know, after the surgery. And disclosed, internetizens believe that Jackie passed due to complications after the cosmetic surgery. I don't be believing nothing. When it comes to these celebrity deaths, I don't... Be, I don't... <clears throat> I don't... Be, be, be. I don't be believing nothing that the news say, to be honest, y'all. And that is the main link to another high... Look at her little fucking... Uh, vampire teeth, bro. That shit weird. Profile death of Donda West. DC Young Fly, baby mama dead in 30 plastic surgery. Mom, whose other mother died? Kanye mother died? Yeah. Just like that. That's a blood sacrifice. <laughs> yes, you guessed it. The internet is going crazy with the blood sacrifice allegations. After Jackie's unfortunate passing, Young had some new gigs lined up for him. And mm. that is raising some eyebrows. DC Young Fly just mm -hmm. sacrificed the mother of his daughter to go Lucy, a.k.a. Lucifer. Mm -hmm. Those stacked up comedy tour dates he got lined up come at a price, mm -hmm. and he paid with blood. Mm -hmm. I keep telling y'all who are itching for the soft life in the mm -hmm. entertainment industry, nothing is for... It ain't nothing soft, 
about the entertainment industry. Free. Remember when Kanye West was trending all over social media for his outworldly comments regarding his mother's death? Mm -hmm. Well, in a video shot by paparazzi, West talked about Hollywood sacrificing people, which he says includes his mother, Donda West. Mm -hmm. My mama ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan, what about him? His dad, yep. His daddy, right? Mm -hmm. Bill Cosby, his son. Mm -hmm. Dr. Dre, his son. Yep. Out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Mm -hmm. It feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. Mm -hmm. Now, we all know that Kanye has never shied away from exposing the Hollywood elites. And this time around, he even went as far as to name their puppets. They can control Shaq. They can control Charles Barkley. Mm -hmm. They can control LeBron James. He should have said Jay-Z, my homie. <laughs> They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. Oh, he did say that. I forgot that. Okay. Even John Sally, an American former professional basketball player and an industry insider, conceded to all of Kanye's claims. In an interview with Vlad TV, mm -hmm. Shelby said... He says things... He just looked like he knows something. He's <laughs> like, my mom was sacrificed. Look at how he's smiling. But what if that's true? Mm. What if they didn't do it to Jordan's father, but what if they did do it to Kanye's mom? Mm. Okay, that's a deal. Okay. What if all right. that happened? Although many think that a football player and a music executive have much in common, the entertainment industry is very strange. It's one in the same. All the high-profile people, irrespective of their position or role, are well-connected behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So it's quite possible that John might know something he can't disclose mm -hmm. to the world. <clears throat> Moreover, the physician who performed cosmetic surgery on Kanye West's mother the day before she died is blaming her family for the tragedy. In case you are wondering, the physician was widely criticized by the public for doing a couple of cosmetic procedures on Kanye's mother in a single day. Mm. I've seen old dude too, the person who worked on Jackie, all right, the surgeon. He is getting his ass ripped to shreds. I think he even like took down his account and put it back up, limited the comments on his post. Niggas was attacking his ass. Even <laughs> though at the time he was very evasive in giving the deets in the beginning, he walked out on a live show. Don't you want to speak out? No. You don't want to? No. The nigga said, I'm getting my shit. I'm getting the fuck up out of here, bro. What y'all trying to do to me, man? Trying to set me up, man? Can't talk about this shit. I do not. Look, this nigga said, I am out of this bitch, bro. I, but you came here to speak out. But recently, <laughs> Dr. Adams finally opened up in an interview Inside Edition. He claimed that Kanye was speaking the truth because Donda's death had nothing to do with the cosmetic procedure performed by him. Kanye West can end this by telling the truth. And what do you believe that truth is? The doctor had nothing to do with his mom's death. Mm. The doctor did not stop after revealing the surgical details. He even disclosed that he was suspicious of the caretaker that was taking care of Donda mm -hmm. at home. According to Adams, after West had surgery, he suggested that she should stay in the medical facility for care. But West wanted to stay with her nephew, Stephen Scoggins, Kanye's cousin, who is also a nurse. Mm. During the interview, Adams read notes he made from 2007 detailing the incident. Adams revealed that her nephew gave her an inhumane amount of medicine. This lady shouldn't be mm -hmm. dead. <clears throat> I think that's what happened to Jackie O too. Like like she like like somebody reported she was fine after the surgery, but she died overnight or some shit like that. She died after the surgery, after going to the hotel. So yeah, it was medications <clears throat> that took these ladies out. Nurse <clears throat> gave her 20 Vicodin tabs in less than 20 hours. Wow. Adams believes the overload of pills caused West to choke to death. According to sources, she was left on her back unattended. Adams even speculated that this indeed was a setup to attack Kanye. You mm -hmm. see, Kanye has always been quite treacherous to the mm -hmm. entertainment world. Mm -hmm. He made quite the headlines for his anti-Semitic remarks mm -hmm. after he wore a shirt with White Lives <clears> Matter. <throat> West, who legally changed his name to Ye, told Fox News former co-host Tucker Carlson that he wore it because it's the obvious thing. The answer to why I wrote White Lives Matter on a shirt is because they do. Uh, when Carlson nigga. pushed West on why he thinks people consider that a controversial statement, West said that it's because he's not acting in the way the media thinks he should act. 
because the same people that have stripped us of our identity and labeled mm. us a color have told us what it means to be black. Mm. But as you might have caught of the media drift, Ye has lost about half of his fortune to his irresponsible remarks. According to Mike Muse, no one in the industry... You can't say that Kanye don't stand for what he believe in, though, man. He stands on everything that he does. He stands on everything that he says. No matter what type of sponsorships and deals he has going, man, he's standing on what the fuck he believes in. So if that means losing a sponsorship with whoever it is, he's going to do it because he is standing on what he believes in, regardless of what the cost is. So shout out to Kanye, man. I don't agree with everything that he does. I don't agree with, you know, some of his beliefs, but at the same time, I can't do nothing but respect somebody who stands on what the fuck they believe in man it's not too many people who do that <coughs> with Ye, even though he has shown his cape of media drift Ye has lost about half of his fortune to his irresponsible remarks according to mike muse no one in the industry wants to work with Ye, even though he has shown his capabilities many times just don't want to touch uh and engage and be in partnership with someone who spews such anti-semitic and for those who have forgotten, because Ye did delete all his controversial tweets afterward, he tweeted, I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I'm going DEFCON 3 on Jewish people. Uh. The funny thing is, I actually can't be anti-Semitic, because black people are actually Jew also. You guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who ever opposes mm -hmm. your agenda. Well, despite the mm -hmm. controversies going on with Kanye and mm -hmm. Young Fly's girlfriend, it is quite clear that there is something suspicious going on in the entertainment world. Mm -hmm. It's safe to say that this case should be investigated by authorities because things really... No, it shouldn't be because the authorities are in on it. <laughs> That's what people don't understand. The authorities are in on this type of shit, bro. Do you think it's just the entertainment industry that's tied in? No, they're tied in with law enforcement. CIA, FBI. They're tied in with, you know, the authorities that handle cases. You know what I'm saying? So if they're tied in with them people, they can fabricate anything they want. Right? Come on, y'all, man. The authorities can't do shit because the authorities is the one fabricating this shit too and covering up deaths and covering up what really happened type shit man it is quite clear that there is something <clears throat> suspicious going on in the entertainment world it's safe to say that this case should be investigated by authorities <laughs> because things really don't add up and whether or not Jackie was a blood sacrifice would be clear once DC Young opens up about it. Some fans believe that DC should mourn his loss in peace instead of dealing with controversies about his beloved's death. Why are y'all saying that DC Young Fly sacrificed his wife? The guy is mourning the death of his wife and y'all sitting here with conspiracy theories. That's it for today, folks. Well, look, this life, this entertainment life, nothing is soft about it. And if you want to elevate... You're going to have to make sacrifices. It is what it is, man. It was DC Young Fly's turn, you know? Who are you going to offer up as a sacrifice? To either hold your position or elevate. When you're in the game for that long, DC, DC Young Fly has been in the game for quite some time, right? So in order to even keep that position, you got to make sacrifices. In order to elevate to higher levels, you got to make certain sacrifices, you know? They're not just going to let you, oh, you sacrificed one time. Okay, great. You know what I'm saying? You're in here. No, nigga. You have to be able to hold that position. You got to be able to show that you're down. And this is how they show that they're down. That's the ultimate way that you could show that you are down. If you could set up a loved one, right, to die just for more fame, more success or whatever it is, they own you at that point, man. You know? So anyway, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that Jackie O was a sacrifice for DC Young Fly? Tell me why or why not. The energy in his post when I went to his page and I said, oh, he finally posted, right? I went to it. I was just like, uh, I don't know. I'm getting moving on energy. Like, it was nice to know your energy. I'm not getting, oh, man, like true mourning, true loss, true, you know, I just didn't get that energy. And I could be wrong. Like I said, we really don't know. We're not behind the scenes, so we don't know. But that's just my opinion. Let me know your opinion in the comment section down below, man. I love you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell they ain't your mama, tell they Uncle Joey, still a hoe. See you guys in the next motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.